Squarespace has just launched a new way to edit websites. It's called Fluid Engine. I've been using it a good bit over the past few months, and I want to share with you the five most important things I've learned about it. So right now, Fluid Engine is only available for English versions Squarespace 7.1 websites. However, I expect that to roll out to all 7.1 websites in the near future. So let's dive into what Fluid Engine actually is. Previously, the editor we used is what was called the Classic Editor, and it was based on this 12 column system. So all of the blocks, all of the content we added had to fit within these 12 blocks. We couldn't move anything over each other and also on desktop or on mobile rather, we had this one column system. So everything had to be stacked right on top of each other. Well now on Fluid Engine, we have a little bit of an enhanced system. We have 24 columns right here and we can change however many rows that we want. Content can be moved on top of each other and fluidly move all throughout the, the system we have here. And this allows for some beautiful new sections that we can build. So we can pull images full width like this, adding an image block. We can add text right there, right on top of our image. We can overlay one image on another. We can do this really easily. So Fluid Engine opens up a whole new world of design within Squarespace. However, there are some other important things we need to know. So let's jump into those five things right now. The first thing is you always have to remember mobile. On the classic editor, when you went to the mobile view, all of your content just kind of looked good right out of the box. However, on Fluid Engine, when we go to mobile, it's all jumbled. The content on here by default is added in order that we have added it to this section. And so that's why it looks a little weird. So you always need to jump into mobile and rearrange things based on how you want it to look on mobile. So I'm gonna do that real quick and speed up the video. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, and we're done. So with a little bit of editing, we have this really nice looking section and it's great. Always be sure when you're done, pull up the empty space in that section. All right, second thing to know is that alignment can be a little bit more tricky in Fluid Engine, especially when we're using a block that contains, that maintains its aspect ratio, like a video block. Notice we have these three blocks that are stacked right on top of each other. However, the spacing up here is a little bit larger. So first tip, hit G on your keyboard when you're on a section, it will pull up the grid so you can see exactly what's going on. We can't pull this section any lower, but what we can do is click on that block single click, hit our align tool, and push that to the bottom. This one, this text block is already aligned to the top, and let's center our video tool. A single click will pull that up, align, center. And now our spacing is a little bit better. Hit G again to rem remove the grid. That's looking a bit better. But remember, always remember mobile. So let's look at this on mobile. So notice first, there's a ton of extra white space down there. And actually this text block is now back aligned vertically. So mobile, we can change styles differently. So I'm just gonna single click on this block, hit our align tool, push that down. Let's pull up all this empty space. And then let's take a look, hit G again, and you can understand the grid here. So now we have eight grid columns. So we have eight columns on mobile that we can play around with. 24 on desktop, eight on mobile. And for any of our developers out there, this breakpoint is at 750 pixels. Number three, we don't have an option on our image blocks anymore to create our different designs. We can play around with the fit, add the shape, but we can't add our different poster block, card block. That's not available anymore. However, you can create whatever you want with just a text block and an image. If you single click on the text block, you can pull up the background and change the background. It's pretty cool. However, there might be times where you actually want to create a caption that goes along with an image. So the best way I've found to do that is to use gallery blocks. Drop in a gallery block, just put in one image, hit the gear icon, and just put whatever you want in there. And we'll just say this is just bedroom, not bedroom copy, how about? Make sure the design is on grid. You can create the aspect ratio. Be sure you're showing the title and your thumbnails is only one per row. You can also choose not to crop the image and it will show the full aspect ratio of it. If you do stacked, 
you can see the title and the description down there. So that's just a little workaround for you. Number four, we can really easily create section breaks like this in Fluid. It's super easy. All we do is pull a full width image. So notice I have these two. This is just a PNG with a clear background and just some white paint over top, just a paint effect. I've pulled the image full width. And so now it's over the entire section. So if I single click, I can change the Z index, the stacking order of our image by clicking this. It's just gonna push it back. Now it's behind all of our content. I'm gonna do the same here to this lower one, push it back behind all of the content. So now we have this cool little effect. We could even pull this open, pull this wider a little bit, pull that down, click and drag all of this content right here and pull it, center it up a little bit. So now that gives this nice little effect between sections. But of course, we have to always remember mobile. Let's go back into mobile view. Again, it's stacking these two just in the order we added them into the section. So I'm gonna pull this image full width, make it a bit smaller all the way like that and pull that up to the top. It's going very, very slow. And change the stacking order. Pull that all the way to the back. Same thing here, maybe about right there. Smaller, full width. And let's close up all of that space. Bada bing, bada boom. And number five, let's say you're super frustrated and you wanna go back to our classic editor. Well, you can do that as we add a new section. So hit the add section button, then all the way down here at the bottom, you can add a blank. This might just be for circle members, but for everyone, you should have this link. Just click that and it'll bring you to the classic editor section. And you can just click whatever one of the sections you wanted previously. All right, those are the fast facts. I hope you found this helpful. As this platform evolves, I'm sure there will be more questions and more ways to do great things in Fluid Engine. But in the meantime, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Feel free to reach out to one of the many Facebook Squarespace groups, Squarespace Facebook groups out there. Um, and I just hope you have a great day.